Hi, Miss Kathy O.T. So, I found out that one of my containers of putty did not have any items in it. So, I'm just going to have you help me put items in the putty. So, whenever I do a putty activity, it's always I'm thinking about um, that they're going on a treasure hunt. And so, I found these great buttons at Hobby Lobby. You're supposed to decorate the table with them, but they go in putty wonderfully. And so I bring this out. And so um, one of the things I like to do too is sometimes just pressing that they can make impressions. It's kind of like, looks like fossils. Um, so I'm gonna be putting in some different color leaves because this is one of my uh, fall themed ones. I really like these pieces because they have to pick them up with their tip to tip kind of pinch. I like to put smaller ones, some different sizes. Um, oh, and this one, I really liked um, these pumpkins that they have too. And I will have anywhere from five to 10 items within the putty so that um, there are multiple things uh, for them to find. And then this one, I've got another flat pumpkin. I've got an acorn and so one of the things I do is then I always have them use their fingers and I'm really trying for that isolated finger movement where they're having to push. They're having to use their fingers to push um, the items down in the putty because I find that getting those isolated finger movements, getting that push skill, separating the fingers, working on that motor, that that's what helps develop their, their grasp, their grip, uh, their coordination skills, which all leads into um, writing, coloring, using scissors, um, being able to use utensils, zippers, buttons, life skills, all of that plays into getting these fingers um, acting independently and uh, having good hand strength. Um, so then I roll it up, I put that in there, and then I squish it. So now, they just hid their treasures. So they're hiding their treasures. Oh, and they have to squeeze and they pull and then there you go. So that is how I set up my different putties and they have different resistances according to the strength. And I will pick out different putties for um, the different kids knowing where their hand strength is, um, knowing what they need to work on. Um, some of them I have letters in it because then they need to work on letter identification. You can get real specific where each child has their own putty and you can have the letters of their names um, with those buttons in there and then they have to sequence and put together their names. Um, I'll do another one later, but I love to roll out the putty that they have to break off pieces of the putty and then they have to make their names with it. So this was a putty activity.